to completion of your graduate degree, the master degree, uh, the, the job you're applying for here in the UK without experience, uh, as a no fresh experience, you're coming straight from the university and you're applying for the job, you need to make sure on the job portal you search for the management side or the QS side, quantity surveyor side. So obviously if that is your future, you need to ensure you choose that course that is affiliated with the application R on the job prospect if you're not, your course is not affiliated with the IC or Astrak T or some of the institution. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your host Jess Karek with another useful and important video. Uh, before we start with the video, I, I would like to thank each one of you about yeah, the, the nicest and uh, the very important question you are raising on this platform. Uh, certainly that give me something to think about as well and uh, that give me a thought process as well to answer your queries. So I really appreciate your engagement with this platform and I'm sure yeah, that that is helping your career and your education as well. So keep pouring your, your questions here, especially in regards to the civil engineering. Obviously that's, that is my strong link. So I really appreciate your, your, your involvement with that side of, side of it. And um, I would love yeah, to, to respond more and more basically on the civil engineering side. Uh, so this video is all about yeah, a few sort of yeah, terminologies that's, that we've been using here in the UK. And there is a bit of a confusion. I thought I, I would share this video and I'll clarify those sort of uh, anomalies or yeah, those terminologies what we are using here in the UK. And I'm sure that will uh, pave the way, way and your understanding as well to uh, how you go about and plan your future as well. So the, the first question, a very important for yourself, I mean, to understand is about the way we call the degrees here. You are in the uh, BSc level degree, so we call it here undergraduate degree. So undergrad, we call it. Uh, in opposed to actually in Pakistan, we used to call it graduate degree, but here we call it undergraduate degree. So that is the difference. Uh, if you are doing master degree here, so we call that as a graduate degree. C level degree, we call a graduate degree. And after completion of your graduate degree, the master degree, uh, the, the job you're applying for here in the UK without experience uh, as a fresher, we call it back home as a fresher. Here we call it graduate uh, jobs, basically. So that's that's the difference, the terminology we are using here. I'm sure if you're following me, me on my videos, I'll use this terminology throughout like a graduate jobs. So by graduate jobs, that mean you have no experience, you straight from the uni and you apply for the jobs that's where uh, you're going for the graduate jobs and uh, even on the website here on the job portals when you apply basically for the jobs you need to ensure you search for the graduate job obviously that is the one relevant to yourselves when you finish your degree that is your first job here and uh, here the advertiser the employer they will call it graduate job so that's where you need to search for the graduate job not beyond that obviously if you got experience then you go to engineer or assistant engineer level but if you've got no experience you're coming straight from the university and you're applying for the job you need to make sure on the job portal you search for the graduate engineer jobs uh, so i hope this clarifies that anomaly yeah where the graduate comes along yeah, basically when you when you go for the job okay guys in this second part of the video i need to share my personal experience and also obviously lots of question comes from yourself about the affiliation of different institution here in the uk so i want to clarify the loads and loads of your institution here I mean for each individual sort of disciplines if I call it uh, so for instance institution of civil engineer institution of structure engineer institution of highways and uh, lots yeah, a Royal Institute of chartered uh, chartered survey and um, CIOB uh, chartered institution of building so it depends on your future and on your from the very onset you need to identify your future uh, that's that's exactly what I mean here by this 
part. Uh, you need to what you see yourself in the future, whether you want to go in the construction management side or the QA side, quantity surveyor side. So obviously, if that is your future, you need to ensure you choose that course that is affiliated with the RICS or CIOB. Uh, and uh, obviously, if you're going into the structure engineering side, I mean, if that is your interest, you see yourself you're going forward in the structure engineering. So obviously, you need to ensure you choose the course that is affiliated with the institution of structure engineer. ICE similar goes with the ICE. Basically, if you go with the uh, with something yeah generic sort of yeah as a project manager, so I would prefer yeah to go with the ICE. And this is how you choose your your future from the very onset. You need to choose the course that has affiliation with these uh, institution obviously this will pave your path uh, towards your future and uh, how what you 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 see yourself in the future uh, having said that there is no restriction about i mean if you choose a course or something like i mean the, uh, for instance if there's no affiliation with the ICE in some of the courses that doesn't mean you won't get to the ICE uh, at all that there's no such thing because uh, in the ICE that permits you people with experience as well so obviously we when you got lots of experience you can still switch on towards the ICE as well so the, there is no such restriction obviously the, the questions are, are receiving here on this platform uh, that that is like a, as you're constraining yourself uh, trust me as long you go you yourself with the uh, affiliation with any of these institution uh, you are in high regards basically and uh, you are in good hands uh, you, you got the opportunity uh, yeah basically there I mean to uh, to, to avail uh, the next question comes from yourself is about the uh, any implication on the job prospect if you're not your course is not affiliated with the IC or ISTRICT or some of the institution uh, so I would say no there, there's no implication uh, when you come to your finding your first job uh, obviously I mean in the interview the employer may ask you about your aspiration what you're going for what your future looks like obviously you should know about these uh, aspiration and that's what I say you need to plan your future from the onset uh, but in terms of whether that the, the employer or the uh, recruiter that will restrict you because you're not affiliated your course is not affiliated with the uh, concern uh, sort of your yeah, institution that doesn't happen here basically obviously with the uh, graduate role job the employer obviously they are not expecting you to be going straight into your chartered ship obviously that is your plan that is your ultimate plan and that's something you need to plan ahead as well when you join an employer the employer will give you the guidance the help what you need but obviously this is your progression this is your career and you need to ensure you take that basically as your own and not the, the the employer or the recruiter they won't encourage you well they do encourage sometime but obviously it's completely up to yourself how you plan your future uh, and this is uh, exactly uh, what, what I wanted to share here uh, when you go for your graduate job don't anticipate the employer would would ask you about your affiliation obviously it's good when you when you give them the aspiration of what you want to become basically in the future is give for them as well just to prepare from the onset that yeah you you got interest in that side so uh, if, if the projects and the experience comes on that side so they can shift you in that direction it's always good here to plan your future ahead uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this video guys uh, and as I said earlier I, I really thank uh, you guys actually you're raising these sort of questions that are really uh, interesting question for me as well I, uh, obviously as, as an engineer I always uh, think about yeah, different aspects of engineering and this is something uh, it gives me something to think about as well so that's that's really uh, yeah my interest as well so keep pouring keep uh, commenting here as well obviously different aspects of engineering and I'm pretty certain yeah not just yourself but it's beneficial for me as well to understand different dynamics of the engineering civil engineering in fact so I hope guys this is useful information do share with the family and friends as well and if you like the information uh, don't don't forget yet yeah, to press the like and subscribe button as well thanks for watching <laughs>
الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين